Well, in the last few hours, Google has released a new tool. Uh, it's a tool that Bing released uh, a good few months ago. And this is the Disavow Links tool. And what this allows you to do is to tell Google to ignore any links coming to your site that uh, you believe to be spammy. So if your rankings have taken a hit because of the Panda and Penguin um, updates to the uh, SEO algorithm in the last well, in the last year, and this tool may help you. Now, you use with caution. Uh, around this video, there will be some text that will explain when and when not to use this. Do not use this on a whim. It is very, very, uh, or potentially very, very dangerous. Um, but I'm going to show you how to use it because I've got a few websites that I can easily use it on. Here's one. Here's one of my throwaway sites. This doesn't rank anywhere at the moment, and uh, it was just uh, an example site. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go along to our Webmaster Tools. Now you must have your website set up in Webmaster Tools first. It won't let you disavow links to any old website. It needs to be one that you own and you have verified that you own. So I go to my PrestonSalon.eu dashboard and then we head down to Traffic and Links to your site. Click on that and we see we've got 94 links to our site. Okay, so now let's click on more. Now some of these are going to be spam, some of them are going to be, uh, they're going to be fine, they're going to be okay, these links. So there's, there's a list of the domains that the links are coming from, how many links, um, how many links they're uh, coming from that particular domain. That doesn't look right, does it? That's just an IP address, so that doesn't look good at all. That's probably what's causing this website um, not to rank anywhere at all for Preston Beauty Salon. Either that, or it's a terrible site. What I'm going to do is download more sample links. Remember, these are just sample links. Google Webmaster Tools doesn't give you all of the links that link into your site. So I'm going to click on download more sample links and it tells me, it asks me how I want to download them. I'm going to click CSV, CSV, comma separated value, and then I'm going to open that in Microsoft Excel. Click on OK, and then we let that open up. Uh, here it is, all open. So here are our links. Uh, how many have we got? 95. That's nice four because we've got a header row. Let's get rid of that. Delete. So which one do we want to get rid of? Well, we know these are going to be spam. They, these aren't these aren't very good links at all. They're just an IP address, not even from a not even from a real uh, website. So let's get rid of the ones that we think may be okay. I don't know. They may not be, but let's get rid of those. And there we go. Now we want to tell Google to ignore these links, get rid of them. We don't want them at all to be giving us any kind of link juice, positive or negative. So we're going to have to save this out now. So we'll click on save. Oops, can't save because it's temporary. Save as. And we'll save on my SkyDrive. That. that links. Okay, so that's all saved out. Some features, yeah, I don't care. Do you want to keep using this format? Yes. Okay, so let's get rid of that. So, get rid of that. What do we do next? Well, we now go to the Webmaster Tools Disavow Links. Now, uh, there's a link in the article that uh, takes you here. Because um, there doesn't appear to be a link from Webmaster Tools yet. As I say, this is a very, very new tool. So now we click on Disavow Links, and it's going to give us a warning. It's going to say, this is an advanced feature, should be used with caution. Used incorrectly, this feature can potentially harm your site's performance in Google search results. Now that tells us something. That tells us that Google very, very realistically does use links in its uh, ranking algorithm. That's good. We rec 